Today we're looking at buildings which actually learn how to support themselves. As you can see, this structure is trying different bracing locations to stand as tall as possible given a wind and a gravity load. It's using a genetic algorithm, which in this case is Galapagos for grasshopper. The algorithm develops a gene pool of different bracing solutions and then chooses the most successful ones to pass on to the next generation. So in this way it's actually learning which bracing locations work the best over time and it's ending up with the best solution possible. So we're starting off with a pretty basic structure. It's just some slabs and columns. And we're going to apply gravity load, but also a wind load. And if I turn that on, you can see at the top of each column, we're applying a load at 45 degree angle to the axes and now if I turn on a render and I step through how it's going to react to that wind you can see because there's obviously no bracing not going to do very well. And it's all going to end up lying in a heap on the ground. So if I just turn off these indications here, I'm going to reset that. What we can do is to introduce some braced bays. So I've got, so I've turned one braced bay there on and I've set it up so that I can just scroll through a slider and it's gonna brace up each bay. So in both the X and the Y direction it's going to scroll through all the possibilities of bracing. And then from there I can get the algorithm to run through all the possibilities and find the best results. And I've got nine, actually 12 braced bays that the algorithm can specify or draw as it needs to. So now if I start the algorithm with just that one braced bay, but this time I'm just going to show every single iteration it goes through rather than the best results. You can see what it's doing. So it's trying all these different combinations. And you can see it's hit some pretty good ones there. But at this stage it's really working through all sorts of different trials. and it is learning from its past results. So if I stop that here, and then I put the only show best genome, and I start from scratch, you can see it's only showing the best solution it comes up with in each generation. and it's targeting the tallest possible, as you saw at the start. 
and the tallest possible is a nice straight tall building. And here's the end result and if I pull at some of these nodes you'll see that the structure is pretty good at resisting loads in different directions. So the bracing locations seem pretty effective even though they were designed for one direction of wind they work pretty well in all directions thanks for watching this structured parametrics video leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one